Hi, so we're back in VexCode VR and we've made this, uh, this program that uh, draws a square. Um, we, we set up a variable. We use that variable to control a while loop, right? So we said, hey, can, hey, loop while a counter is less than four. We noticed that if we didn't, if we just left the counter set to zero, it looped forever. Uh, so we went ahead and did set counter to counter plus one. So we, we made counter be one more than it was during the last loop. Um, to control the number of times that the loop went, right? So it, it's going to repeat four times. So let's go ahead and um, if you if you're not to this point, go ahead and and, um, and drag over. You know, go to variable, create a variable, make a variable called counter. Okay, set counter equal to zero. Drag over a while loop. Drag in our counter variable into sorry. Drag in a condition of our less than condition. Drag counter into the less than condition. Make it less than four. Okay, then go ahead and drag in our set of code here. Um, the last line in the loop is set counter to counter plus one. Okay, so um, that's drag over the set counter two. And then where the zero is, you drag in um, the plus, right? So we drag in the plus operator. Then we drag in our counter variable into the plus operator and then change it to counter plus one. Okay, so, so if you don't have this code, go ahead and recreate it. All right, so let's go ahead and test our code as is. All right, so we have an overview, over top view of our robot. Okay, so it, we got it, right? So we, it makes a nice square, right? On the fourth uh, leg, it stops, right? Um, okay, so we're kind of almost there. Um, our next thing that we want to do, though, we we're not we're not completely done though, right? Because what we what we're going for is that we want a square that uses a different color pen on each uh, on each side. Okay. So how we're going to do that is that we're going to use an if statement. Okay. So we already have counter, right? So in each loop, on the first loop, counter is zero. On the second loop, the counter is one. On third loop our counter variable is set to, to two. On the fourth loop, our counter variable is set to three. And then finally, on there is no fifth loop because once it's set to four at the end of the fourth loop, it goes back up, it checks, hey, is it less than four? The answer is false. So it skips the while loop and then just goes on. And the next thing it does is to stop driving and end the program. Okay, so we want to replace this set robot pen color and we what we want to do is we want to set it to a different color based upon what number counter it is right so if the counter is zero we want the pen color to be black if the counter is one we want the pen color to be blue or red we want if the if the counter is is uh two we want the pen color to be green if the counter is three we want the pen color to be blue okay so that's basically it. So we have one if statement for each um, for each uh, number side, right? So each side is you know each each time it loops, we're making a new side. So on each loop, we want to change the pen color. So let's go up and we're going to drag over an if statement. So if right. So what we just talked about was if, and we say the counter. We're going to if the counter is equal to zero, right? So we scroll down to operators, if counter, so we have our thing here. If counter is equal to, and then we say zero, right? Okay, so if counter is equal to zero, set pen color to be black. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drag that in. And we're gonna drag over our other block there. Okay, so if our pen color is equal to zero, we're setting our pen, if our counter is equal to zero, then we're setting the pen color to be black. We're gonna right click. Notice that we can duplicate these blocks, so this whole thing is gonna get a little complicated to, uh, to keep dragging things over. So we're gonna right click on it and cl click duplicate. Okay, and then we're just gonna, notice how it's kind of stuck to my mouse. I'm gonna go ahead and just click down below. Okay, so if our counter is equal to one, Okay, then we want the pen color to be red. Notice I'm gonna right click and duplicate, right? Drag it back up. If our counter is equal to two, we want the pen color to be green. 
and right click and duplicate on the last one there. If we do it on the top, if we right click and duplicate, notice we get all three, which is not what we wanted. So, um, okay, so uh, notice I can right click and, and if we do do that, if you accidentally duplicate something that's too big, just drag it back over to the library and click. Okay, so we're gonna right click uh, duplicate. And so this is what we get. So basically we have one if statement for each each loop, like each time the each time the while loop loops, okay, so each iteration, we call that an iteration. Each time the while loop uh, iterates, right, every time it goes around for each run, counter is a different number, right? And so for each time when counter is zero, we set the pen to black. When counter is one, we set the pen to red. When, if counter is two, we set the pen to green. If counter is three, we set the pen to blue, okay? So basically what we're doing is, is that for each loop, if counter is zero, it runs the code inside. If this comes back, we say it's a question, right? Is counter equal to zero? If the answer is yes, we run this, this piece of code that's inside the if statement. If we say is counter equal to zero, if that comes back, no, counter is not equal to zero, the answer is false, then we skip this piece of code. So really each of these if statements, all it's doing is we ask the question, we ask whatever question is in this green um, area right here, the uh, condition, we ask the question, is counter equal to zero? If the answer is true, we run the code. If the answer is false, we don't run the code. That's it. Okay, it's as simple as it is. It's as, it's as simple as that. So. So we ask, so let's go, let's let's think about what happens on this loop, okay? So we have our loop here. Let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and you know drag down. Remember, we still have, notice we still have our drive turn and then we still have our iterator down here. So on the first run, right, on the first run, we set the counter to zero, okay? So it says while counter is less than four, so we say is counter less than four? The answer is yes, so we the loop runs, right? We run one time. Okay, so if counter is equal to zero, so we ask the question, is counter equal to zero? The answer is yes, it's true. So we set the pen color to black. Then ask the question, is counter equal to one? Well, that's false. So we skip, we skip this line. Is counter equal to two? False. We skip this line. If we skip counter equal to three? False. We skip this line. Then we drive forward, turn 90 degrees. We set the counter to counter plus one. So now counter is equal to one. We go back up to the top. It checks the while loop condition, right? Say, A, hey, is counter less than four? Yeah, counter is less than four, that's true. So we're gonna run, we're gonna go through the code again. So we ask the question, is counter equal to zero? This time that's false, so we skip this line of code. It doesn't run. We go to the next if statement. Is counter, less, is counter equal to one? Well, that's true. So this time it turns, sets the pen color to red. Is counter equal to two? That's false, we skip this one. Is counter equal to three? That's false, we skip this one, okay? So you see that each time, each if statement is run, um, and either if, it's, if the condition is true, it runs the code inside. If it's not true, it runs something else, right? Or it, it skips it and goes on to the next line. Okay, so let's go ahead and test our code. Oops. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and click start. And look overhead. Okay, so we have side one. Oop, now it's our second iteration, the counter's one. Third iteration, the counter's now two. Fourth iteration, the counter's now three. And then it stops. Okay, uh, so that is our loop uh, with a variable and then using that same variable to control if statements inside the loop. Uh, best of luck.